Oh, I unfortunately got a, a big gash in my ear from surfing. Sailing is a great way to explore the world, experience new cultures, and see new things. But sometimes it's nice to just sit in one spot for a while, have fun, and enjoy the natural playground that the ocean is. There's few spots better in the world to do this than the Mamanuka Islands in Fiji. It is late afternoon here in the Mamanuka Islands in Fiji. In the Mamanukas, we generally stay in a place called Musket Cove on an island called Malolo Island. Way back before written history, the oral tradition is that the Islanders of Fiji who lived on the main island believed that the island of Malolo was a place that God created where the sun would rest. And this is because Malolo is to the west of the main island in Fiji. And so while they worked in the fields, the Fijians would see the sun setting all of the time behind Malolo Island and then it would disappear. So they believed that the sun stopped on Malolo Island and would rest before reappearing the next day in the east in the sky. This legend is so prevalent in Fijian culture, it doesn't matter which island of Fijian is from, they know the saying, the sun always comes to rest on Malolo Island. The Mamanukas are said to be some of the most beautiful islands in Fiji, and we came here for primarily three things. The snorkeling, the scuba diving, and the surfing. There's five major surf breaks that are within a four mile boat ride of the main anchorage here in Musket Cove, which if you're a surfer, makes this one of the top destinations to sail to in the South Pacific. So on my second or third day out surfing here, I wasn't so lucky and I ended up snapping my new longboard that I bought in New Zealand before we headed out here. I was pretty devastated, it actually really sucked. But luckily, a good friend of mine in Vunda Marina had just sold his boat and he told me that he would give me two of the boards that he had. So we set up on a little mission to head into Vunda and pick up those boards. Yeah, Daddy's getting some new surfboards. We're going on the great, the great surfboard hunt to find my new surfboards. Well, my new to me surfboards that uh, Josh so kindly left for me. Fiji has some of the most highly sought after surf breaks in the world, but up until the 1970s, nobody really knew about this place. In 1978, an American surfer by the name of John Ritter was sailing through the South Pacific exploring on his trimaran. He had just come from Samoa and had sailed into Fiji looking for uncharted waves when he came across this gorgeous left-hand breaking wave just off the heart-shaped island of Tabarua. This is the wave that came to be known as Cloudbreak. After surfing Cloudbreak on his own for three weeks in the 1970s, John Ritter did not return to Cloudbreak for another 40 years and he only returned just recently with a group of people who were creating a documentary about his life and the discovery of this magical wave. If you want to learn more about the story of John's life and his discovery of Cloudbreak, there's an excellent documentary that these guys made. I've put a link in the description below. Over the past few weeks, I've learned that sometimes it's nice to not rush from place to place and try and explore and see as much as we possibly can. Sometimes it's nice just to sit in one spot for a month, relax, and have a lot of fun. What did you do this afternoon? Sleep. You had a sleep? Yeah. Was it a good sleep? It was a what? I did, I did not have a sleep. You did not have a sleep. Daddy went surfing, and now we are sailing back to Musket Cove. Look at my spiny and
Oh, I unfortunately got a, a big gash in my ear from surfing. Somebody dropped in on me. Man, it hurts. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know what you think in the comments. And don't forget to give me a like and subscribe down there to my channel.